We are in uh, West Berkeley, just off of Ashby and uh, Interstate 80. Well, this is a mixed-use light industrial zoned area, which does help us because we can um, do the kind of artwork that we do. You know, if we were, you can do painting anywhere, but uh, doing metal sculpture um, and machine art actually does require a light industrial uh, zoning. Uh, this is the shipyard. This is a facility we've built for large-scale mechanical and kinetic art. Um, people that work on a scale that tends to be difficult inside um, typical art, uh, art studio warehouse type situations. So we build a uh, ring of containers around an 11,000 square foot lot, leaving the whole in, uh, center open, kind of like a zocalo. Um, everyone has their own um, personal shop inside the containers, and then the, the center part is a, a communal build space. These, these containers can be stacked nine high on a ship, fully loaded. I mean, I'm like looking at a container right now, so it's like the empty weight of a container is about 5,000 pounds, and then you can load it up to almost 50,000 pounds total. So, like, you can put 45,000 pounds of stuff in there. The containers are really nice because for 300 bucks you can get an 8.5 by 20 foot shop, but access to a big yard, which, you know, in the Bay Area is impossible to find a shop with a yard. Some of the modifications we have taken here are, you know, we've put in some windows. Well, it is a metal container. They can actually get really hot. You know, the windows help with that because you can keep them cracked and you'll have a breeze in there and it doesn't build up heat quite as badly. Yeah, there are a couple of reefer containers, uh, refrigeration containers. And so they have a built-in refrigeration unit in the back end. And it just blows cold air in and, uh, you know, they, these will go down to minus 20. At the time that he got the containers, there was a surplus here because we had an, an import surplus. So um, shipping the containers meant shipping them empty. So it was cheaper to sell them here than to ship them back to China or wherever. Um, right now, there's actually a shortage in shipping containers because a lot of them are in Iraq. And China is now buying them up for steel as well. So it's actually right now difficult to get 20-foot containers. They're $1,000, the cheapest ones. And I was getting these between 500 and 750 when, when I was doing it. So right now the price is high, but the price will go down again. I mean, we, di we didn't really know that we were going to end up with this. Uh, I just bought a bunch of containers, it was going to be me, and then it's some friends, and then we started moving the containers around, and they're like architectural Legos, and it just kind of, the design came out organically, and ultimately is kind of an obvious design, it's just square. There's, there's been other things like this done, and um, it's actually, there's, there's several of them in, in Europe. I do large-scale installation art and machine art and uh, land art. Um, I do a lot of art at Burning Man. I do a lot of art separate from that. Most of it's kind of in tech art circles, I would suggest. I, I'm the director of a project called the Rosetta Project, which is doing an archive of um, all documented human languages um, served online. RosettaProject.org. What I do, I make water fountains on fire. <laughs> So I have a water fountain and I just float a little bit of fuel on the surface of the water and it makes the water fountain look like it's on fire. And then the water protects you so you can hold the fire in your bare hands. Jim kind of handpicks the artists here. So the collection that's here, really top notch. And everybody is so amazingly bright and smart and knows so many things and we just help each other out and, and share as much as we can. And I don't know, I just love the people here. It's fun for all of us because it, it's it's a very unusual architectural space and it's configurable. So I mean, we have this gigantic forklift that 
know, we just move stuff around. Like we don't, okay, we don't like how things are, where our buildings are right now. Okay, we move them. Okay, and we have, we're, we're off the grid. We have a fully self-contained um, power system here, and we can, you know, reconfigure in any way we want. You know, if we got all excited and said, okay, we want to go to Brazil for two years, and we could put the whole thing on a ship and go set it up in Brazil. <laughs>